Lord have mercy. Oh, we gotta talk about this. What's up, y'all? Your girl, Sandy, and yeah, y'all, we back up in this motherfucker for another motherfucking video. How y'all living, fam? I hope you're having a great day, great night, great week. Whenever y'all are watching this shit up in through her. And as y'all can tell by the title, y'all, we got some shit. We gotta discuss, cause I know your ass saw that shit yesterday, last night, just a few short hours ago, and child, we gotta talk shit about that shit, okay? <laughs> so first of all, as you guys already probably know, the Oscars went on last night, okay? And y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna go watch that shit, I'm gonna keep it fucking with y'all, I had no intention on watching not damn bit of it, okay? It was just another thing that passed, them shit's usually pretty boring to me, okay? Um, there's not a lot of representation of us, you know what I'm saying? I support and love everybody, okay? And look, shout out to all the winners of the Oscars, okay? I don't know who won all that motherfuckers, but y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? Because really, we're here to talk about the tea, what happened, okay, between Will Smith and Chris Rock. Listen! Your boy Chris Rock and child, he had all kinds of jokes, okay? So y'all already know, as a comedian, Chris Rock in general, y'all know his style of banter, his style of comedy, right? So we already know he was gonna come with the shit, okay? We already know he was gonna clown people, right? We already knew he was gonna talk sh on people, right? We already knew he was going to have a little fun at somebody's, okay, plural, expense, okay? So... He was about to present an award. It was like best documentary or some stuff like that, right? And, you know, he's making little, little jokey jokes, little jokey jokes throughout the course of, you know, as he's about to present this award. And he turns over to, you know, Will Smith and Jada, who are literally sitting damn near front row. They're right up front, okay? And he proceeds to make a joke, okay, in regards to Jada being in the next G.I. Jane movie, obviously in reference to the fact now that she is bald head. If you guys have seen G.I. Jane, or if you know anything about G.I. Jane, um, in the movie, um, I haven't seen it, all right, but um, I do know that in the movie, Demi Moore, I think, shaves her head, okay, to show that she's tough, or whatever the case may be, right? And so that's what he was making a reference to with said joke. Now, here's the thing. First and foremost, let's just talk. We're going to talk about this. I want to create the banter. I want y'all to let me know what y'all thought, what your thoughts about all of this are, right? Whether you agree or disagree with me, we're going to have some good conversation here. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what your initial reaction was, okay? Because I'm going to tell y'all my initial reaction when I saw this stuff. Because honestly, I'm going to be real. I had, listen, I thought that ish was staged, okay? So when I first started seeing the clips and people were like, oh, shoot, Will Smith done slap Chris Rock, I was like, ain't no way, right? So I saw the clip when it got released, okay? Now, if you look real closely at the clip, you gonna see, it, 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 I mean, it looks like he done did something, right? But then, as I'm watching the clip when it first came out, right? First thing I thought, I was like, this has gotta be a skit. I know he didn't get up out his seat, go all the way on the Oscars stage. Listen, we ain't at the VMAs, okay? We ain't at the Source Awards, okay? We ain't at the BET Awards, we at the Oscars. So I'm thinking like, ain't no way. Will Smith's gonna get up out his seat and roll up on stage and literally physically up someone. Let's keep it funky, okay? So when it happened and I saw the slap, okay? I'm thinking, cause he, he kind of leaned in, so I'm thinking the noise I heard, right? Of after the slap, I'm thinking it's his foot slamming the ground, you know, because it was fake, like it wasn't real. You know what I'm saying? Because he leaned in for that, y'all, he went back with a hand and everything, right? So I'm thinking it's a skit. They gotta be playing some joke. It's gotta be part of Chris Rock's performance, right? Whatever he's talking about, right? Cause I know Chris didn't think he was gonna come up on him and do that, okay? And then once we actually saw the uncensored, non cut off, non audio removed clip, of what really went down because what you're gonna see when you first saw it, 
they cut off the audio for a minute, which is why I was like, it's gotta be, nah, that can't, it can't be real. I'm like, that is so in my mind, out of character for, for Will Smith, but of all, what? Never, not never, right? And then the new clips came out with the audio in it. Now, in some countries, it was playing full audio. And in other places, from what I understand, the audio was clipped. So the real audio came out, right? And listen, that one Will Smith, y'all. That one Will Smith, that was Mike Lowry, okay? If y'all have seen Bad Boys, which I'm sure y'all have, okay? If y'all have seen Bad Boys, that was Mike Lowry. So... So, okay, so he, he makes his G.I. Jane joke, right? And if you look over to when they panned over to Will and Jada, okay, the first thing I saw was the fact that Will Smith actually laughed at the joke. But what I also saw was Jada's reaction to the joke. And y'all clearly saw there was a complete difference. Like, Jada wasn't feeling the joke. Not nam bit, not one chuckle came out her mouth. She rolled her eyes, her whole face changed, her entire demeanor changed, right? Meanwhile, Will Smith is key king on the side of her, okay, while she's making this face. So they pan right back over to Chris Rock, right? And next thing you know, we see Will Smith walking on stage, literally just walking up on him, right? And Chris is still laughing. Like, I know he's not thinking this motherfucker's about to straight up slap the shit out of me, okay? And when I say he leaned in and pulled back for that slap, bad, okay? So he does that and gets back in his seat, okay? And when he gets back to the, his seat, that is when Mike Lowry came out because now he's making show. Chris Rock knows, don't you ever talk about my wife again. That mofo said, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. Okay, and he meant every bit of that child. Okay, to the point where he said that sh again. Okay, he said, keep my wife's name out your mother mouth. Okay, when I say he wasn't playing, he wasn't playing not nam bit, okay? And then, after all that, right, Chris is gonna be like, well, dog, it, I just made a joke about G.I. Jane. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even that deep, but I, I'm gonna rock with you. I ain't gonna say nothing about your wife. Noted. Okay, noted, okay? And then, after all that, because y'all, I watched the slow-mo. This is after the new clips came out. I watched the slow-mo. If you have a chance to watch the slow-mo, watch the slow-mo. Will Smith, for real, put some power in what he did to Chris Rock, okay? And when I say Chris took it like a G, that dude continued on, you hear me? He kept on going, like he was just like, okay. Uh, all right, uh, we just made history tonight. I mean, best night ever, right? Y'all know, he's a comedian. So for him to even come back, okay, he was poised in position for two seconds though. He was just, I'm, uh, you know, you could tell, he was like, ain't this a bother? Right? And then he, he had to hold himself together. Again, he's at the Oscars, okay? He on stage. This stuff is being live recorded, right? All this is going on real time for him. And he continues on with what he's doing. When I say he took that like a G, he took it like a damn G, y'all. Y'all, when Chris said, oh, okay. You know, right at that moment, you already know what he was thinking. Like, this motherfucker, really? What? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But then he had to kind of just hold his composure, for real. And he did exactly that, y'all. Like, kept his composure, literally didn't even change his stance for real. Like, literally was well poised and legit continued on. Old dude had his hands behind his back, just poised as all get out, you hear me? So, y'all, just to give you a little, you know, backstory on why this was a sensitive issue for Jada, right? And Will, clearly, okay? Um, if you guys don't know, Jada Smith has been dealing with alopecia for the last few years, right? And to the point where she's actually shared a lot of her journey and the difficulties of this journey on her social media, okay? And so she literally went bald because of it. And I mean, you know, literally cut all her hair off because of it, right? And so she's openly shared about it, right? And allegedly Chris Rock has also known about this journey just generally from her having spoke about it, right? We're gonna just assume that he probably already know, you guys already know everything I say in this video is alleged, okay? <laughs> Period, okay, but allegedly Chris
Chris Rock knew that. I mean, most of the most of the world who's even followed any part of Will and Jada's journey knows a lot about them. Okay, a little bit more than we should, but a lot about them and specifically that. Okay, so it was a very, very sore subject for Jada, which is why her reaction was not so nice. It wasn't, she didn't take the joke very well at all. Obviously that's just, that did not sit well with her. Okay. And what we didn't get to see was what Will's reaction was right as he saw her face change as far as his face, right? Because like I said, he chuckled at it originally y'all. Okay. And then next thing you know, we turn around, at least I didn't see the video of him looking at her when she made that face. All I saw was him chuckling, okay? And then from there, we went right on, pan over to the stage where he walked up on old dude. Now, look, couple things, right? He went up, slapped old dude, walked back. Y'all, did y'all see Will Smith's face walking back from having done that? He was smirking on the way back to his seat, okay? Like, it was just a whole nother level. This whole thing was absolutely insane, right? So I had to pop on here because when we gonna talk about it, I want y'all to let me know y'all's opinions. What did y'all first think when you first saw it? Did you think it was fake? Did you think it was staged? Did you know immediately that it was, it was real? Like every single person I talked to was like, I mean literally every single person I've talked to has literally said they thought it was a skit or it was fake or it was staged or part of the Oscars or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because Will Smith is an actor, right? Um, you know, he, he's you know he's funny too. And Chris Rock is a comedian, so it just makes sense, right? Or you're thinking, it makes sense. Then on top of that, I mean, we don't know Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know Will Smith personally, but from what we know of his character, that don't really, that don't really fit within the mold of what we know of Will Smith. So I'm not automatically assuming he gonna walk up on somebody and do that type of stuff, not on some real stuff, right? But, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Just from what, whoo, from what I can see, y'all, okay? Um, y'all, that that was a trigger for him, clearly. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, whatever that that moment was, was a trigger for him, right? And so, I just wanna know your thoughts and opinions. Was he justified in what he did? Was his reaction justified? What, did you, what do you think about that, right? Do you think that what he did was the right way to have handled it? Okay, I'm gonna give y'all my opinions, right? My opinion, it's just an opinion, okay? This is just what I'm thinking, right? And I'm very excited to see what you guys think. I think there's a lot of moving parts with this, number one. Um, number one, I can only imagine the journey that Jada has been on with alopecia, just from what she shared. It's a difficult journey, right? And a sensitive one. You know, if anyone of you that's dealing with alopecia can share, that'd be amazing to share from that from that level as well, from just having known that experience. But I understand that that can be, it's just a sensitive topic, you know what I mean? And to be made fun of that specifically would absolutely be something that isn't gonna tickle my fancy. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna sit right with me. So if you were to ask me my opinion on if I felt like the joke was in poor taste, absolutely, right? Because if he had any knowledge, Right? I don't know what was in Chris's head. I don't know what he knows personally because I don't know that mofo, right? But if he already had prior knowledge to that, okay, I just feel like it was in poor taste. It just wasn't, it just wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, I mean, you gonna make fun of everybody else, but that right there is something that is literally so incredibly sensitive for her, you know what I mean? And it's just something that I wouldn't even touch. I would have just left that ish alone, right? So do I think it's in poor taste? Absolutely, freaking lutely okay? Now here's the other side of it though. Do I feel like Will Smith was justified in what he did, his reaction, him physically walking up on Chris Rock. No, hell no, hell no, okay? First and foremost, I mean, really, did you really have to do that on stage at the Oscars? Okay, that's number one. If you had a problem with bro, okay, if you had a problem with bro man, you could have done that after the show. You could have hit him at the after party, okay? Because it wouldn't have had the same impact as it did on stage live at the Oscars, okay? Do I agree with any kind of, any kind of a silence, whatever, you already know, absolutely freaking lutely not. So I'm never gonna condone that type of behavior in response to something like that because the other side of it is what, in my mind, I feel, look, Chris Rock is a comedian and a crass one at that, okay, let's be real, right? He gonna hit below the belt when the opportunity presents itself. Again, I think that it was an inappropriate joke, especially considering the situation, right? But I also have to look at it from the angle of he's a comedian and he's going to make some crass jokes. He's going to make jokes that might hurt a little bit. They might sting a little bit. That's just 
what they do. This is what comedians do. You know what I'm saying? The other side of it is too, if you anywhere near the front row, he gonna look at every single one of y'all and y'all are literally pieces of material he can utilize throughout the course of his monologues or whatever, okay? So, poor taste, absolutely, on Chris Rock's part. Worst decision Will Smith could have ever made, you're damn right, he shouldn't have walked up on him, period. Period, point blank, okay? Then, 10 minutes later, that mofo gets on that same stage and wins his very first Oscar. Do you see what I'm saying? So for me, this whole situation is so jacked up because one, I'm never gonna condone that type of behavior. That's number one. It, you know, it was in poor taste. I understand you trying to defend your wife, but that is just not the way to have done it, okay? And especially not there, and especially not at that very moment, okay? And then on top of that, he done took away for his, from his entire accomplishment, y'all. Like, literally that right there is going to completely take over the accomplishment that he had, which was to have won an Oscar, his very first Oscar. Ain't nobody talking about the fact that he won an Oscar, okay? People are talking about the slap that got heard around the world, that got seen around the world. They are not sitting here saying congratulations to Will Smith. He got his first Oscar. Then on top of that, it's the few of us that get that accolade and to have won it is such a major accomplishment, okay? And then to now have tainted that accomplishment with this is absolutely terrible. Like I feel absolutely horrible. And the other side of it is too, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, like I'm so disappointed. I wish this had never happened because it's, it's, just, it's us against us. You feel me? And we already know where this is gonna go. Okay, there's already talk about Will not being able to keep his award. You know what I'm saying? There's already people saying, well, they got a code of conduct. You know, the Academy has a code of conduct that we follow and we don't condone any of that type of behavior, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You know, they talk a little banter going around in social media and media in general talking about, is he really gonna keep this award? And that's what worries me because he done put in this work. He did an incredible job in the movie. Obviously he won an Oscar for it, right? And now, this is literally overshadowing every, that, every bit of that accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that for him, and I hate that for us. Now, we gonna go a little deeper. Hold up, okay, we ain't done. This is just service right now. Y'all know Will Smith's reaction was not specific to Chris Rock's joke. If I were a betting woman, I would absolutely say it is so much deeper than that, you guys. Literally, y'all, think about the last couple years Will Smith's had, okay? The memes and all the jokes, okay? Literally, ever since Jada done came out with her Facebook show, Red Table Talk, okay? Ever since then, these last couple years, okay, we done heard all kinds of stuff we really didn't need to hear about bedroom antics and whatever, okay? Escapades and extramarital, whatever, okay? Entanglements or whatever. How long we been seeing the memes? How long we been seeing the jokes on social media, the commentary about entanglement? Entanglement is now part of our language, okay? So now, this last couple years, with all of that, okay? Will Smith's been taking L upon L when it comes to a lot of that shit, okay? So that motherfucker's tired. Okay, this was literally to me nothing but literally I feel like it wasn't really just the joke. I feel like it was a cumulative thing where it's literally from this last year or two of just being made fun of, the pressures, um, the, the you know what I'm saying, being the butt of a lot of jokes and that type of thing because of all of those other things, right? And then this was literally the straw that broke Campbell's back. If I were a betting woman, I, it's just, it's deeper than that. I personally don't think it, that would have been a normal reaction had he been in a different headspace. You know what I'm saying? With that joke. You feel me? Um, I feel like there's so much more to it than that. Like, Will Smith's sick of y'all. He's sick of y'all, okay? And when I mean y'all, I mean us. He's sick of all us talking about this entanglement and all that other stuff. He tired. He tired, y'all. Y'all, they talking about LAPD is investigating the situation. Like, literally, like, an hour later. LAPD all of a sudden is talking about they investigating the situation, looking into it. We're aware of a situation that occurred at an event, the Oscars, blah, 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 right? And allegedly Chris Rock chose not to press charges. Okay, so that's the latest in regards to that. But listen, y'all know they got money, both of them, okay? Because a, a bitch like me <laughs> let somebody slap my ass the way Will Smith did Chris Rock and bitch, I'd have been on the floor, bitch. Bitch. Listen, I don't give a damn if Chris was talking.
talking about whoever the hell is sitting right next to me, and I don't know that mofo. My ass would be on the floor. You hear me? Talking about my neck and my back, bitch. You wouldn't even be able to get my ass off the ground. I'ma get me my coins, okay? And did y'all see Lupita's face? Cause y'all know she was right there. So you could literally see her face as all of that ish unfolded, right? Girl was like, okay, so let's talk about what happened after all of this, right? After he won his award, his Oscar, okay? So he goes up on stage and he proceeds to firstly apologize to the Academy, okay? But there was not damn apology to Chris Rock, y'all. And that was the one thing I was like, damn, I wish he had apologized to Chris Rock, right? But took the opportunity to apologize to the Academy and it was a tearful speech. Like, you knew that it was hard for him to really express his emotions at the moment because I know a lot of things were going through his head. Like, there's a lot, you know, being loyal to Jada and her feelings, right? Knowing in his mind, because in a way on God's green earth, he thought for a minute what he did was after the fact, right? You know he regretted what he did, like period, end of story, right? Even whatever emotion was driving him to do it, you know damn well in his mind he was having regret, okay? And then on top of that, think about all the things that celebrities in general have to deal with with this type of stuff. This is a complete PR nightmare for him. And I know people are gonna be like, because you know, we're from a cancer culture, right? So firstly, people are gonna be like, are we canceling Will Smith? Okay, so I wanna know that too. Like, are we canceling Will Smith? How y'all feeling about that? Comment down below, holla at your girl. But we're from a cancel culture. This is just what it is, right? And so in his mind, you know, he's thinking about everything that's gonna come out of this, okay? Cause he gotta deal with all his PR. He gotta deal with everything that comes after this fact. And then to have won an award as prestigious as the Oscar that he won, right? The emotions involved in that because he's won his very first Oscar for a movie that I know he put a lot of time and energy and effort and everything into, emotion and all of that. So imagine all of those things doing right by the family that he portrayed, you know, that he was a part of portraying in that movie who was there as he got presented with his award. Like there is so much going through his head, everything that he's dealing with emotionally too, right? And so for him to really express himself, it would, it, it, that, that I could never imagine being in that position, literally have to, ex to express yourself literally just a few minutes after what you just did. He didn't even have time to really process what just happened because just a few minutes later, he won an award, right? He won the Oscar, right? There was also a point in time where Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry, if I'm not mistaken, Tyler Perry, was consoling him. You know what I mean? After what happened, right? Seemingly, it looked like a break, okay? Like a commercial break, because the lights were kind of dim. You know, there was music, just general music playing. You know what I'm saying? And they were consoling him. Bradley Cooper came over to him and gave him a hug. You know what I mean? Denzel actually went over to Jada and also, you know, consoled her also, right? And Will also made reference to something that Denzel said in his speech when he accepted the Oscar. So, y'all, it was just a lot going on last night. And I can only imagine all that was going through his head when he gave that speech, when he got his Oscar, okay? So then fast forward to later on, after the Oscars, y'all, and he goes on to the after parties, y'all, like nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he put his whole game face on, Jada put her whole game face on, his family was there, they went off, I wanna say they went to the Vanity Planet after party, okay? And he's over here dancing to, you know, his rap, you know, his music, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about some na-na-na-na-na-na-na, this motherfucker holding his Oscar, like na-na-na-na-na-na. In my head, I'm like, bitch, I hope you still got that shit tomorrow. And this ain't even trying to be funny. I ain't even, look, I ain't even, look, I ain't poo-pooing on, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't want that to happen, y'all. Y'all know, I rides for us, period. But, unfortunately, Lord only knows what's gonna happen from here. You know what I'm saying? Lord only knows what's gonna happen from here. So I pray they allow him to keep the Oscar, right? Because it's deserved, right? It is not based on the action prior to getting the Oscar. It's based on what he did in the movie, however, Y'all know how this stuff can be, okay? So we just gotta sit back and see what the fuck happens. You know what I'm saying? One last thing, because this literally just came out, and I don't know if this is for sure, for sure or not, right? But this is just from a couple little things I done saw. Allegedly, that joke wasn't even written by Chris Rock, right? That wasn't even a joke he wrote. Allegedly, the writers for the Oscars wrote that joke. 
and all he did was just speak it. Okay, now if that's true, I do not know, okay? But if that's the case, does that change anything? You know what I'm saying? Is now Chris Rock a little, you know, a little bit of a puppet in this whole scenario? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, obviously they didn't know when writing that joke that this would have been the reaction or the outcome, okay? But you have to wonder if that changes your opinion on that. But I have to wonder if that is actually true and it turns out that he did not write that joke. Does that change your opinion of the whole situation? Look, congratulations to Will Smith. I'm so excited for his Oscar. I just wish this hadn't happened. I just wish it hadn't happened there. I wish that that was just not the moment because that moment took away from the even much bigger moment of him winning his first Oscar, you know? Um, but yeah, y'all, oh, wait a minute, hold up, real quick. Did y'all see Tiffany Haddish get that, that reporter together from Entertainment Tonight, I think it's Entertainment Tonight or whatever, Entertainment Somebody. Listen, did y'all see her get her together? And that reporter, I don't care what she said, she's like, I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> you were uncomfortable, okay? Because Tiffany had to put you in her place, okay? She had to put her in her place, talking about she was wearing a costume. I felt Tiffany on that, I really did. I really, really did. I really, really did. And then Tiffany just kept on going, which, I mean, you can see it on the reporter's face, even though it was just a side profile when she was talking to her, like, it's, for that, in that instance, it's a very uncomfortable situation. I've had to interview people that are very uncomfortable to interview, you know what I'm saying? And then when someone throws you off like that, you could be the most seasoned reporter on the planet. And y'all know, I just dibble and dabble in the stuff. But you could be the most seasoned reporter on the planet, and if you get thrown off, it, it, Okay, because what she said was, you know, was out of pocket. You know, she really shouldn't have said it like that. And you know, I, I, I'm in agreement with Tiffany. But listen, let me know what y'all thought of everything that transpired last night, okay? Let me know your opinions, let me know your thoughts. Let's keep it nice. Let's keep it just about sharing our viewpoints and opinions, okay? We wanna keep it as positive as possible, all right? Y'all, I'm so curious to see how this all unfolds. Honestly, I want, I want him to win. End of story, right? And I never want to see, especially us, against each other. That's just the one thing I never want to see. So it saddened me that this moment happened. And it's going to be a moment that is always going to be a part of the Oscars history. You know what I mean? So we got Will Smith who won his award, you know what I'm saying, representing us. But then on top of that, we got this thing too that we now have attached that's automatically going to be attached to it no matter how you slice and dice it. And now, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen from here with Will because honestly, from a PR standpoint, right, um, it could be a mess for him or it could not be. It could end up not being anything and nothing changes and everything moves forward. But he also does a lot of things for like, you know, he does a lot of like acting, you know, opportunities and things that are specific to, you know, families and kids and those types of things. And what he just did doesn't necessarily fit that mold. You know what I'm saying? But again, he's a very well seasoned, just amazing actor. And, you know, I mean, he's he's gonna be just fine, right? But, and I hope that he's gonna be just fine. But again, you just don't know what this is gonna do, how this is gonna impact endorsements and things that he has going, projects he has going and that type of thing, right? But look, I wish everybody's continued success for Will. I pray that everything's better, okay? I pray that things get better from here. And I, I pray to God, I pray that Data done drop them draws and give him every bit of what he deserved after last night's performance in the bedroom, child. Look, I'ma say it because, listen, at that point, them look, them panties need to drop, okay? You need to go ahead and yeah, yeah, take care of your man like he took care of you, okay? Listen, how would you go down below? Let me know your viewpoints and opinions of everything that went down, okay? And you guys already know, your girl's back. Okay, you clearly see your girl's back, okay? So we got more videos to come. Stay tuned for another video coming your way here very shortly. And we just gonna continue to talk shit. We gonna continue to talk the shit, okay? Because there's so much out there we can talk about. And I know there's more to come. So stay tuned for all of that. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.